Hello, in today's video I will be talking about subnetting. There are lots of network engineers having difficulties with subnetting. I hope in this video and few more videos I'll be able to explain it in a very easy way that it will make it so easy for you guys to understand it and enjoy subnetting. It's very easy, just follow the rules and you will do fine. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified for the Cisco exams. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share it on your Facebook page and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I will gladly answer you back. On my Facebook page, I created a group where I posted all of my labs there. The name of the group, CCNA Free Practice Labs Walkthrough. Now, what is a subnet? A subnet is a logical partition of an IP network into multiple smaller network segments. It's typically used to subdivide large networks into smaller, more efficient subnetworks. Each subnet allows its connected devices to communicate with each other, and routers are used to communicate between subnets. Now, what is IP addressing and subnetting? An IP address is an address used in order to uniquely identify a device on an IP network. The address is made up 32 bits, which can be divisible into a network portion and host portion with the help of a subnet mask. The value in each octet ranges from 0 to 255 decimal, or the zeros to the ones in binary. I will show you how to do subnetting in a very easy way that will help you in your Cisco exams and in your career as a network engineer. Now the RFC, which stands for Request for Comments, number 1918, discussing private IP addresses. Private IP addresses are non-routable on the Internet. The range of private IP addresses 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 to 10.255.255.255 and 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 and 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255. Now, for the network mask, it allows us to determine the portion of address which is the host portion and which is the network portion. Now, as for the subnet masks, for a class A addresses, the subnet mask will show us that the first octet is the network portion, just like in this example of 255.0.0.0. This shows us that the first octet of 255, this is our network portion, and the other three octets are our host portion. And as for a class B, the subnet mask will show us that the first two octets are the network portion. In this example of 255.255.0.0, the first two octets are our network portion and the other two octets are our host portion. And as for class C, the subnet mask shows us that the first three octets, this, these are our network portion and the last octet is the host portion. Now, the rules here to follow is any address bits which have the mask bit set to 1 represent the network ID, and any address bits that have the mask bit set to 0 represent the host ID. Like in this subnet mask of 255.255.0.0, when we convert it to a binary, it will show us like this, that the first two octets on the left, these represent are the network ID and the zeros on the right, this will represent the host ID. And another note that Cisco devices do not support discontinuous masks. Just like this mask here, this will definitely not be supported by Cisco because as you can see, it starts with the zeros, followed with two ones, then one zero and two ones. This is not supported by Cisco. but the subnet mask, they must start with continuous ones followed by continuous zeros, just like this subnet mask in this example. Now, we still have more rules here. 
when we are given an IP address with a subnet mask and been asked to configure the network subnet address, the rule will, is telling us that we fill the host portion of an address with binary zeros. And to configure the broadcast address, we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones. And if we are been asked to configure the first host address, we fill the host portion of an address with binary zeros, except for the last bit, we set it to one. And to configure the last host address, we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones, except for the last bit, we set that bit to zero. Now, we have this, this topology. A PC is connected to a router with this IP address of 192.168.70.20. And this is a slash 24. We read it like this also, 192.168.7.20 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. This is how we configure port ad, uh, ports or uh, interfaces when we are configuring them on a router or a switch like this. The IP address followed with a subnet mask. Now, we were asked to configure the subnet mask, the first host address, the last host address, and the broadcast address. This is how we do it. To configure the network address, we fill the host portion of an address with binary zeros, 192.168.7.20. We configure or we convert the last portion to an, a binary. And the first three octets in this example is telling us this is our network portion here, and the last octet is this is our host portion now for the subnet we convert as i said the last uh, octet which represents the host portion to zeros so this tells us or gives us that the network address of 192.168.7.0 and to configure the first host or address that we fill the host portion of an address with binary zero except for the very last bit. We set that bit to a one. Now, our first host, because we convert the first octet to binary and we set the first bit to a one, and when we convert this binary to a decimal, this gives us this IP address of 192.168.7.1. Now, for to configure the last host address, the rule is telling us that we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones, except for the very last bit, we set that bit to a zero. Our last host, when we convert the first host uh, uh, octet, which is our host portion, to binary, we write it like this because we fill the host portion with ones except for the very last bit to a zero. And when you convert this binary value to an, a decimal, this gives us our last host over 192.168.7.254 because the value of this binary is equal to 254. Now, to configure the broadcast address, the rule is telling us that we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones. So the broadcast address after we configure the host portion to ones, the value of these binary ones is equal to 255. So our broadcast address of 192.168.7.255. Now, another example in today's video, we were given this IP address of 172.16.10.125 slash 19. The slash 19 is equal to 255.255.224.0. Now we notice here in this example that the mask does not fall on the octet boundary. We have boundaries for octets as we learned before the new technology here with RFC 1918 that this is uh, for 8 bits here as you can see class A and this is 16 bits the boundary bit uh, the here the octet boundary and this is for 24 bits so the network in our example and the host portion are in the third octet now when we say 9 slash 19 what does this mean slash 19 this means that 19 bits are used for the network portion and 13 are used for the host portion 
this is our IP address slash 19 this is how when we convert it to binary now we have the first eight bits in the first octet a plus eight bits in the second octet but only three bits from the third octet this is in our network portion and the remaining five bits in the third octet a plus the eight in the fourth octet this is equal to 13 bits which is our host portion in this example now the given ip address we will be working on the third and the fourth octet when we convert the whole ip address to binary this is how it looks like now our bits here showing us 19 bits this is for the network portion this is what the subnet mask is telling us that slash 19 which means you need to count 19 bits from left to right this will be your network portion and the remaining will be the 13 bits in this example is our host portion now for the ip address when we convert just the third and the fourth octet and we don't need to convert the first two octets on the left and we uh, put a line between the network portion and the host portion this is our network this is our host now we write down the subnet mask also convert the third and the fourth octet to binary this is how i learned it when i first started to study the ccn for the ccna exam to draw a line here and start saying one with a zero this gives us a zero and zero with a zero is a zero this is a long way just follow the new rules will give you the same results but this is faster and more efficient and better the way how i see it this will give us this ip address of 172.16.0.0 but the other way which we will we uh, convert the octets the third and the fourth into binary and draw a line there and to get to the network ip address we set the whole bits into zeros and this gives us 172.16.0.0 now the ip address is a given ip address when we convert the third and the fourth octet to binary now i will be working as i said on the third and the fourth octets we write down the ip address converting just the third and the fourth octet to binary and draw a line here and now we will be working on as i said on the third octet and the fourth octet but you notice here that the third octet falls between the network portion and the host portion but we'll be working only on four bits uh, five bits on the third octets here so from here to here this is our network portion and from here to here is our host portion now we need to configure the first host address follow the rule that we need to fill the host portion of an address with binary zeros except for the last bit we set that to a one this is our ip address converting just the third and the fourth octets we draw a line here and we will follow the rules that saying that fill the host portion in an address with binary zeros except for the very last one that one we set it to a one and now when we convert this binary values to a decimal this gives us 172.16.0.1 now to configure the last host address the rule says we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones except for the last bit we set that to a zero now this is our ip address converting just the third and the fourth octet to binary we draw a line and we follow the rules and we fill it all with ones here to get for our last host address except for the very last bit that bit we set it to a zero and when we convert these binary values into decimal it gives us 172 the 16 the 31 the 254 so the f five bits the first five bits and the third octet the values of these bits when we convert them to decimal is 31 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 15 31 and the first octet on the right if this is the value of 254 now uh, to configure the broadcast address we fill the host portion of an address with binary ones we write down our ip address just for the third and the fourth octet convert them to binary draw line here and for the broadcast all the bits will be set to a one 
and when we convert these values from binary to decimal, this gives us the broadcast address of 172.16.31.255 the 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 because the first octet on the right in binary when we convert it to decimal gives us 255.